Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, April 10th, and it, today is this week's Mortgage Nerd News. You guys know that every single week I record a video. I show you guys what the bond market's doing so that ultimately we can track what interest rates are doing. So let's jump in. Um, if this is the first time of you watching this, then you may or may not know that the fixed mortgage rates are directly tied to the treasury bonds. And there's an inverse relationship, which means when the bond prices are down, interest rates are up and vice versa. And so what I always track as a certified mortgage planner, which you can do yourself, is you want to track what the bond market's doing, and that dictates how interest rates are moving. Yes, interest rates change daily because the price of bonds change daily. It's kind of like the stock market. So it's really important that you hire the right person to help with your mortgage loan. Um, make sure you get the lowest interest rate before you close on the home, not just when you go under a contract or get pre-qualified. So I'm going to tell you what the interest rates have been doing. Right here on this column is the price of the bonds. It goes from 102 all the way down to 99.4. And then on this horizontal line, this is the date. So it goes back three months right now. We're looking at January 11th, and the price of the bond was around 101.8. And then we can see this dive of the prices dropping from mortgage bonds. In fact, in February 14th, they got as low as 99.4. And so again, when there's a decrease in the price of bonds, interest rates go up. And that's why we saw over a half a point increase in the interest rates in the first part of the year. And then from about February 15th to March 20th, almost a good month there, we saw this head and shoulders trend is what we call it, where it's kind of up and then it's down and then it's up and then it's down. The good news is, is that if you're in the housing market or thinking of refinancing, interest rates, I'm sorry, the bond prices came up a little bit here, peaked at about the end of March, and they've kind of mellowed out a little bit. but at least we saw that in that tail go up a little bit and when that tail goes up that means the price of the bonds have increased which means interest rates have gone down and there's a lot of talk this year about what interest rates are doing every economist is predicting that they're going to continue to go up we may see these head and shoulders trends every now and again but as far as what they're going to ha what's going to happen by the end of the year is they are projecting them to get close to the 5% range so if you are thinking of buying a home, I would suggest sooner rather than later. That's not a sales pitch. It's just because you can buy more home when the interest rates are low. If we were to look at the history of this, if I expand it out, this is where the bond prices were at the last year. Then they dropped. Then they came back up. Then they dropped again. So at any rate, um, you always want to be following this bond market so that you can get a good idea of what interest rates are doing. Now, on the home page of my website, you can see that every single week I post this weekly mortgage market report, which is produced by Fannie. You'll see here, Lynn is the chief economist at Freddie Mac. And every single week, I'll make a post. I'll show you what his commentary is, maybe why the rates went up or down, just so you can get another perspective. And then it's going to show you a year, I'm sorry, a week over week trend. So we can see March 29th, the interest rates were at a 4.44%. Then last week they went to a 4.4%, and this is why those interest rates moved a little bit. So hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. I've got a lot of great resources here on my website. If you need to get pre-qualified, just click the home button, go to apply now. Or if you want to chat, you can go to my homepage and you can call, email, text, or even book an online appointment with me right online. Thanks so much. Have a good one.